What's up, everybody? It's Alex from Heavy New York, invading California for NAMM 2019. And today we are here with one of the Gothenburg legends. We are here with Ola of the Haunted. Thank you for your time, man. Very nice to meet you. I'm actually from Stockholm. Stockholm. But the band is uh, from Gothenburg, obviously. Yeah, same shit. Yeah. For you, yes. For me, very dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's fine. I'm just kidding. But uh, Strength in Numbers is now uh, almost two years old. Do you have like a conclusion on this record cycle? Uh, concluding, I mean, we haven't really toured up much. The thing is that uh, uh, members from The Haunted are also in At The Gates. So At The Gates are touring right now. We're kind of starting to write something new now. So uh, we're on the way to uh, record something new. Awesome. I'm looking forward to it. Are you making like a direct follow-up to Strength in Numbers or do you like to experiment with your sound? We will probably experiment, uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> every time. Every time. Yeah, we'll probably, uh, we, we when we hit the studio, we will know. But right now, we keep our minds open about things. We'll see what happens. You know, I interviewed At The Gates earlier this year, and they okay. said that, like, you know, it's obviously a metal capital of the world. Was it easy to kind of start a band uh, coming from Gothenburg because of it being such a metal capital? It, I'm not saying it's easy, but I think it's easier for Swedish bands to uh, get recognition, maybe because of the fact that people high Swedish metal in such a high regard. So I think that it's just a little bit easier. I'm not saying it is easy, but it's because it's not. But I think we might, I mean, it's easier to get respect quick, I think. Being that you have a lot of albums now, do you tend to take a new approach to every album or do you like to experiment with your sound a little bit? I just think we do what feels right for us in the moment, basically. I mean, it's like, okay, are we gonna try and write another Rain in Blood? I mean, like, you. you uh, we will just have to see when we get there and uh, I guess what we've been listening for for the past year or two years will influence us and maybe write something different. I have no idea. We'll just have to see. It's an open page for me. Yeah. And uh, the final question I'd like to ask you is let's do the good old gear rundown. What's your weapon of choice in The Haunted? Okay, so guitar wise I'm using Solar Guitars obviously, uh, which is my own guitar brand. Then. I use uh, Randall Satan as my amplifier, and also Ford and amplification pedals, obviously. And uh, that's it. I like to keep it mean and lean, you know, with the rig. I'm a traditional guy. I like, you know, tube amplifiers. I look, I like, just like to, you know, as easy as possible, basically. Yeah. Is it the best gear to use for your sound, or is it like, is this something that you've always been playing, and that's just what you're most comfortable using? I mean, I always, I always like simplicity when playing. Like, I, I, I don't like to use too much gear. I like, you know, cable into something that really sounds good, bare bones. And I've always been, been like that. So I stay, I try and stay in that range because the more stuff you have, the more likely something will break. That's kind of like my mentality. Yeah, yeah. So. I don't envy Mike Portnoy's drum tech or Tom Morello's guitar tech. Exactly, that's exactly what I mean. So uh, before we go, I want to thank you so much for your time. Uh, you're saying that you are sort of working on new music now. Do we have like an expected release date or anything like that? We will be getting new Haunted soon, right? I have no idea when. <laughs> it's like, well, I don't know. But we are working on it. One question I do have is being that other members are playing in At The Gates, does them maybe working with another band allow you to bring some newer elements into The Haunted? Or does being that... The Haunted and At The Gates have a similar melodic death metal style, it's really no different. I don't really think that's much of a difference. I mean, they're 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 darker, we're more party, I think. Yeah. So, uh, no, it's going to be different. It's going to be different. Fine. Yeah. All right, well, thank you so much for your time. Everybody, we are here with Ola of The Haunted. New music will be coming soon. Just be on the lookout. We'll see you next time on Heavy New York, everybody.